Hey, do you want restaurant quality baked potatoes at home, but you don't know how to do it? This is what you need to do. Hey, I have scrubbed the potatoes. Now I'm drying them. My oven is preheated to 425. And these will bake 45 minutes to an hour. So this is a really big one. It's going to take an hour on that. Some of these smaller ones can be done in 45 minutes. And it's really just dependent on how tender of a baked potato <clears throat> excuse me, you want to make. But definitely scrub your potatoes clean first. And then you need to dry them. Then you just use a paper towel like I'm using. Definitely line your cookie sheet with foil. That will save on the cleanup. And you can put these in the air fryer. But it takes about the same amount of time. I think you would cook them in the air fryer maybe 375 for 20 minutes, turn them over, and do another 25 minutes. But this way, in the oven, I don't have to turn them over. Okay. And this is olive oil. And I'm just going to, well, and it doesn't matter which way, but I almost forgot to do this, so I'm going to do it now. You want to pinch or pierce each potato on all sides with a fork and you can do this before or after you coat them in the olive oil I want to go ahead and do it now because again I almost forgot it but anytime you bake in potatoes rusted potatoes like these are or sweet potatoes in the oven, pierce them with the fork. And I'm going to do this with all the potatoes. You don't have to go very far in there, but I do suggest you do it about three times on each side and go all the way around the potato and another reason why I like baking the potatoes in the oven and using this cookie sheet is you see I have 10 potatoes on here and I could get more if I want it but a lot of air fryers, I don't think you can make 10 baked potatoes in an air fryer. Not enough room. And again, you have to turn them over in the air fryer. In the oven, you don't have to. And of course, hands are clean. Don't be in the kitchen cooking, baking anything with dirty hands. That's gross. You wouldn't want anybody making your food if they had dirty hands. So why do that for anybody else? Including yourself. Don't even do it to yourself. That's Again, it's just gross. Of course, be careful not to stab your hand. Or any fingers with the fork. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the olive oil on here. And I just pour a little bit on the potato, hold it a little bit, and you see how it drizzles onto the cookie sheet. I use that and do the next few potatoes with it. And you want to make sure you're coating all sides of the potato with the olive oil and I tried to just use one hand to do this that way 
I can still handle the olive oil bottle and the last ingredient with my clean hand. Need a little bit more for this one. So see, we coat it. Five potatoes with that oil. Now let's do the back row. It does not take a lot of olive oil. You just want to coat all the sides with the olive oil. We got all of them coated. Put the lid on the olive oil. And this is kosher salt. You want to use salt that's coarse. And I get it on all sides of the potato. And that's why I only use one hand to put the oil on there, on the potatoes. And I can use the same one to lift the potato up again to put the salt all on. Have you all noticed that when you buy the potatoes now, they're not as big as they used to be? As a kid, these potatoes used to be huge when my mother would buy a 10-pound bag of potatoes. These are like barely bigger than baby potatoes. Makes you wonder what they're putting in these potato crops. To make them grow so small, or maybe they're just pulling them a lot earlier. Not letting them grow to full maturity. And then the excess salt that's on the cookie sheet, I just rub the potatoes in it. Okay, me rinse off my hand. These will go into the oven that's preheated to 425. I'm going to set it for an hour. Some of these will probably be done after 45 minutes, so I'll check it then. Like, probably these two really small ones and that one probably be done after 45 minutes and I can take them out. But that's it. And this is how you get restaurant quality baked potatoes at home. Easy peasy. You have your potato, your olive oil, and your coarse salt. And again, I use kosher salt, but you want coarse salt. Salt that's got really big pieces, big particles. Don't use just table salt. That's too fine. You want to get coarse, big flaked um, salt. And that's it. Into the oven they go. Here's the final product. And you can see they're soft, fully baked. Even this big boy. And they did bake for an hour. Now, when I eat my baked potato, I just put some butter, sour cream, and black pepper on it. I'm not going to bore you with that because everybody eats differently with their baked potatoes. I know some people do loaded potatoes. And they put shredded cheese and bacon and green onions and whatever else you may want on it. But if you want a restaurant quality baked potato, quick, easy, made at home, make them on a cookie sheet. Line it with the foil. You want to wash them real good, scrub them, then dry them with your paper towel. Poke them with the fork. Rub them in some olive oil and put coarse salt on them. And then bake them at 425. Go ahead and preheat your oven while you're prepping the potatoes to 425 and then bake them for 45 to 45 minutes to an hour. Boom. And you will have restaurant quality baked potatoes at home. Thanks for watching family. If you haven't already, like the video, leave a nice comment, let me know what you put on your baked potatoes, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all and have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye for now.